Hello folks and welcome back to Bike Spring. Here we are as we're approaching the end of January. And we got some wood chipping to do so in between episodes we did do some work. Minus the bump there. But yeah, so we've done some work on the forest over here as you probably noticed. So what the heck is cut through here, so what we've got and done is got rid of some of these trees. I think it was something in the region of 490,000 litres of timber we've removed. All in wood chips at the very least. So, I think that's what we're sort of with is just get all this chopped up. Ah, dang it. Already, first problem. So far, I think we've been lucky with some of these stumps now, but usually they can be quite tedious and problemsome. There we go. And yeah, we're going to be sending all the chips out, we're going to be making absolute millions from it. Definitely going to fill the plans of funding the mega fields. I've got plans, I've got a plan with the mega fields. Buy all this sand here, almost. Plus your minus buildings and all that good stuff. And it's converted to a good old massive field. So we've got two big fields. And then we still work on some smaller fields. Even though that's a big field. That's going to be converted to one big old grass field. Along with that, that's already a big old grass field there. So... Probably taking the spirit of the map out of it. But... Hey, these must not and weed more acreage because I want to do the things like potatoes, corn, soybeans, along with a lot of grain. So we get feed for the chickens and the duckies. And obviously at the same time I'll get some straw for our animals. Last thing as well I was gonna buy some TMR bells weren't we in the last episode but they get around to that in the end.
just like that, we are done. So that is another 204,000 years to top with 240,000 years from that last loop. So let's go and see how much we've caught in total. So that's that forestry error cleared, and yeah, we're never going to get millions, but how many millions? One, two, three. Absolutely nothing. Oh, we've got some eggs. Nice. Perhaps we saw those as well later on. But yep. Let's chop up the hair down. Fine, but. Oh. So save up. I was already chopping it down, ain't it? Oh, you know what? That's a summer tree. I was going to see there permanently. So, let's go and fill this trailer up for now. Actually, no. So, what it needs to actually is, is already filled. So, empty it. There we go. And then we say, return that. Just hit a decent fee, so if we look at wood chips, that is 1.366 million. So that ain't too shabby. So if we go to wood chips, currently they're selling for 16.69. So if I get my calculator out, sick 16.669. Or 1669. Times out by amount which is we've got. That is 2.279 million. So over two and a quarter million we're going to be making. And man, that's just astounding. And where's that too? So everything is just around the corner. But I think you know what? Before we spend our millions, we need to purchase fields, so I want to purchase that field. This one, this one, I guess in these ones as well. Okay, we do have to purchase some of the land on it, fair enough. So yeah, that's all of that land purchase. I've still got money left over. I'll get all the sword data purchase. And actually that will help us establish a good sort of work area of where everything is. So yeah, that's going to tank our environmental score, like how much we're going to get in terms of bonus. Because, yeah, four. 59 there. Actually, even some of these. I'm also going to sort of repurchase everything. Because, yeah, apparently we've missed bits somehow. Which doesn't quite get me, but. Saw so date there, purchase. Yeah, apparently that's all good. Hey, there we go, a hundred. So if we go... On average, our vendor score is 58. So that means we we get a two percent sell increase. So even then, our soil sample fourteen point three out of fifteen. How is that? I've got no idea. So 
Over the coming months, we've got a lot of work to do off for this waiver to a field. And then I'm thinking with this field here, including that area there, just double check and make sure I've got purchase like that. Now it's going to be one big old field. And yeah, I'm still left with 444 grand. I mean, really, like, how did we get to this point? Like, I am absolutely bemused myself of how we got to this point. Uh, yeah, so we still got, yeah, like, our greenhouses, we've got to sell those. I mean, we've got strawberries, tomatoes, and lettuce. I do wonder. Trying to think. If we look over here, Phil's gonna go like here and there. Could we squeeze like a production or two down here? So I know it was all about getting the whole sheep pen. Because yeah, we need like the potato processing. Yeah, I'll go perfectly there. Something like that. Yeah, give or take, something like that. Potato processing. Actually, is there a building partly potato processing? So I think there was, right? Yep, yeah, see potato farmhouse. Well, that's just storage expansion, apparently, but... I'm sure we could do something like this. An RTK station. I'm sure what, we can whack something like that, just... Here, to get better weather data, so... You know what, heck it. So then again, get more accurate prices. But yeah, with the old productions, ah yeah, it's like one of these. Wait a bit, this one here, fruit production. That's just quite nice, I don't want small. Maybe something like that. Obviously, get all sorts of productions and that. But I think if you go down that route, I'll set to rule off one production per category. So, uh, maybe I don't know. Zero production. Ah, yes, yeah, so there's individual ones. BGA, out of tape potatoes and that. No, yeah, I don't really think so. But yeah, like going all out with the whole potato production, I think that's going to be the route for us. So we'll look at that at a later date. We still need to get the potatoes in the ground and everything. So I think it's time for one more time lapse at least. And. Yeah, let's go and get all these potato soles. So, by the end of this, we should be around 2.7, I don't know, 2.66 million. So, yeah, I'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Damn 
River. So here we go. We've borrowed a little hovering vehicle here. King's Magda with a sheep and eight horsepower. It's got a seven half ton at rear, two point three ton weight in the front. Weights on all the wheels, so yeah. I can't explain how I managed to use control of this, but I did. So first of all, the trainer. Tell if we say we want the weight, trailer weighs 18 tons, John Deere 11 tons. So, in theory, this should be a lot easier to do, but I don't know if it's gonna be. We'll go return that. And wait. There we go. So, disaster averted. Our wood chips are so dry. And now, back into the time lapse.
So after that extensive amount of work, we are at just over four and a half mil. So yeah, if we have a look at our finances. So yeah, overall, January was very good. We made 4.4 mil, 4.1 from harvest income, so that's the wood chips and silage. 74 grand to miscellaneous, can't remember what that was. And a million in bail. So the silage bells we did two episodes ago. So yeah, that was a very good month. And then yeah, a million on new land, so. Anyway, that's our cows topped up. For now, we did do a bit of TMR feeding overnight. But yeah, four and a half mil. I think they literally could buy any land whatsoever. Actually, which one has the sheep? Because there's a few farms around. There's this one here. So we've got that one. That's got some decent sized fields. Farm red score ain't as great. It's got a small farm up there. And of course we've got the big one up here, it's got these fields here. I think that's got the sheep in. And there's already pigs and that and all other stuff, so... But anyways, one thing we need to do now is February, so... Time to sell... some of these. But we'll do that in the next episode. We've got things like, we've got prepped fields and that, we've still got all that to do yet. Obviously, a lot of the fields are going to be direct drilled. It's things like the grass fields need to plow in, so. Yeah, we've got that. However, we need. Because we did sell the old Deutsch Farm 6 series. 6 series, as I would call it. Oh, I'm not sure. 6000 series. Anyways, we need to. Oh, uh, yeah. The Bell Trader, that is up here. I wonder where that was. Because a part of our expenses we've done is, well, we bought some TMR bells, so. And that costs us, what? Five grand? Actually, how much did it cost us? If we have a look at our bells. It costs us a grand each. So that was nine grand, so that was 45 grand. So 48 grand for a bunch of TMR. How much TMR? I've got no idea. Can't bother to do the math, so. Let's grab the Bell Trader and head to the store. So that is just over here. So if you can get our dairy products, we'll that sell as well. Actually, it might be better for the John Deere, but it'll still give this Toys Far another try. But yeah, we sold the old Toys Far 6 one that we take place here. I think once I got an extra 100 grand for that, so we can always rectify that. Don't get Lucy Steering on me. I do not want to go into the drink again. Must be we still have more wood chips stuff because all that grass field we just bought. I don't mean the mega field. That's got a bunch of trees, so may not be peak price for wood chips, but we still get oh, a fair bit of money for wood chips, I think. Because how much are they going for now? If we go up. Wood chips they're going for uh, 1500 so actually they're still good for February and into March. Straight up then, but yeah, as soon as we hit mid March and that, it plummets so. Uh, yeah, so we've got wood chips to do. Oh boy, we've got so much work to do. I think a lot of these are grass. Are they fields or meadows? Plus, if they're fields, then yeah, we could do a drill. But if they're meadows, then we can't want to. Uh, 
Now we will up and... Oh boy. But anyways, here we are at the store. And we'll get our delicious two more bells. And dang it, they're not supported. Ah, fudge. I was so hoping for them. I can just whack them on. Uh, what to do? Actually, you know what? I got an idea. Bear with me a sec. And this is how we sort of spend our millions. And the solution for these bells. We bought a brand new lorry to streamline. Along with a load of the trailer to load the bells on. And a brand new telehandler. So this should work out really well for us. So we say go for four bells at a time. There we go. These are easy to maneuver and that so. And if we can get space, we'll fit more on. So here we go, we'll just do that on like so. There we go. Nope, do fall off, please. That's good, that was strapped all the way on. Now, just a quick test, see if I can get to a press on that top deck part. I know on the base itself it's fine. But it worked with on well, actually the top part there. Reason to know is well simply I want to know how many bells we can get on because if we get more bells on then that seems to tr doing so many trips and all that. And then once we get on, we figure out, let's say, if it needs one load a month, every two months. Oh, I've got no idea on that part. There we go. Yeah, we'll get to your press on, not a problem. Probably do with moving that one across a bit, but for now, it should be fine. So that is... 44,000 litres, so... Actually, we did a quick math here, so... That's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Let's see if we get another bunch, that's 10. That's 440,000 litres. See, so yeah, I think, literally, if this works out well, it's going to be... At least every two months we need to get a full load of this down, so... Oh boy, that's a lot, so... I think, as always, I'm going to get this all done. Here's for a time lapse, so yeah, I'll get this all done. And I'll see you folks in a few moments.
And there we go, we are loaded, so we got a full trailer load. Oh mate, oh dang it, there's four came off. Four shrapnels on, but oh well. Good thing these are liftable at least. <laughs> but yeah, we got a full load here. And actually I wish we didn't have these extended because I thought try to get three white bells on there or three three abreast, but no, that did not work. Maybe if I did it all by hand, you know, if I controlled it and all that good stuff, then yeah, but... The problem with that is, I get about two, maybe three high, but then at that point... There we go. That's struck on. As you'll see now, I'm going to struggle to get that fourth one on. Let's see you get three on. Ain't an issue, but... Four, and that's gonna be a struggle. So, and have a look now. So, because yeah, with those like, extensions wide, uh, it just makes it a bit more difficult to deal with. Maybe if we can get onto the trailer end. Maybe sort of like roll it up. Yeah, something like that. Nope, nope. Ah. Bugger. Come on, do that again. Come on, get on. Just roll up. Roll up. Keep on rolling. Nope. One more time. That's it. We're aligned. That's it. Nope, trap, trap. Ah. Maybe if I do on this side, then we can get to trap straight away, then. Get aligned. Roll it. Roll it. There we go. How about this? There we go. Man, they're clear of marring our like, what the hell is he doing here? And test now, and the thing I actually haven't really thought about is getting this back to the farm. Let's try to do it in cab, so. Cannot see on side, so. Put the cruise control down to 32 miles an hour or 50 kph. And I know what to go deep, crank steering. There we go, forgot to put the cruise control back on. But yeah, 352,000 litres, so that is not even a month and a half's worth of TMR, so every month we're going to have to do this. Oh boy. <laughs> But hey, it's worth it. It's cheap bells and that. It's already been belled and that, which I didn't even realise you get TMR bells, but... Phew, boy, I was wrong. But now, the question is, can we get into the farm? And the problem is, if we've got anyone up our rear end, which, have a look at the mirrors, I cannot tell. So, this is going to go well, so... We're going to indicate we're going left here. Even if there's any cars behind us, they will ignore us. So I'm going to go deep. Deep, deep, deep. Turn. No, turn too early. Yeah, I know I've turned too early there. Yeah. Is it even possible? If that fence was in there, then yeah, so. What we've got to do is go deep, turn left, just without clipping the greenhouse. Well, no, it is possible. I should read that. We can just go point out right there. Move that fence there. Put a stone wall in or something just to help with the aesthetics, but 
Anywho. But really, so this would be good until end of March. Uh, how much TMR we've got left in Sido? Uh, about almost two months worth, so. We've got enough TMR for now till about May, so come April time. We're going to need more battles, so. We'll enjoy on that part. But now, can we just leave the trailer here? I'd be happy with it. I say, undo one. Nope. I guarantee Belsom's fallen off. Oh no. Can we put the bells into the silo? Like with all the other bells. So yes, we're going to do any grass work now. Because we're, since we're buying TMR, might as well just use those fields, those grass fields, as something else. So, what about if we do this? So, there we go. That works out well. Almost. Uh, for the most part, it does. Oh, boy. So, again, if I start to part this, put it next to the poop. Well, if that bucket was in the way, that would be a good error to have it. But it means, on the best part, well, on the most part at least, it is all good. And yeah, just keep on doing that every month or two. And yeah, we'll have no problems with cows. And actually, there it is. We can sell one of these cows. Uh, I've got to pay £800. Really? £100 a fee? I'm saying this, and we're at £4.1 million here, but £100 fee. That's his age. Now, have a look here. So, of course, our Anguses, our beef cows, is going to be more worth more. Hello. So, you've yeah, got 80,000 liters of milk, 255,000 liters of surrey. Boy, yeah, that's the thing. We're producing so much Surrey and manure. I currently got, yeah, 7,000 litres weather in there. But in silo, 133,000 litres, so. Oh boy, so. Really, I think, anyway, so that's where we're going to leave it for today. And so next time, we got a lot of work to do, so we got to. Start direct during this field here. As you know, before that, we need to actually figure out everything. So, yep, plow this field here. We need to plow these areas here around. That's going to be fun. Hopefully, it didn't hurt the environment sore. Got to plow that section there. Because we need to. We need to help with the environment score. And with the grass field there, we need to go all the way around. Create a field in this section here. Create a field in this section here. And then create a field in this section here. So, lots of plowing. So, if we have a look at the crop calendar, so in March, you know, we're going to say May for now. So, planning for what we're going to do potatoes, yes, they'll be planted in March. Soybeans is April. Corn is in April. And we've already got wheat going. We may do another wheat, perhaps. Or another barley. Maybe sunflower is in April. And yeah, apart from that, 
So yeah, if we have a look, so one thing look before we go is can we direct drill potatoes? If we can, that'd be best. So we want to go to cedars. Oh, no, we planters. So none of these could do potatoes. That's good, but yeah, so we've got direct drill in for that. Or, ooh. You know that one? I was looking at the John Deere one here. But again, it's maneuverability. Because, yes, that is 12 meters long. I think we're going to struggle to get that into the, into the farm and that. But, oh, I don't know. Unless we go with that, it's technically shorter because that is what nine, maybe ten to twelve meters long. If anything, it's just as long, actually, not shorter. So that's eight meters long. So I'm thinking about transportation and maneuverability. Ah, potato technology. Yes, we can direct drill. And does that six meters? And that does. So let's just do potatoes. That, however, does. Wait a minute. Is that popular? If so, when can we plant it? Ooh, we can plant poplar in March. Downside on that is going to take a while to grow. Can't remember how long, but maybe that's, that's something to do as a finale in this series is do a massive poplar harvest in that. So yeah, let's say we want to do poplar, corn, sunflower, soybeans, and potatoes. That's five fields we've got to do. So if we have a look on the map, got one, two, three, could do one here, four, and um, we do have one, this, this one here, five. Actually, is that area over there? Let's get the... Let's get the John Deere. So I want to see between... Like, 1, 2, 3, 1, 20 and that. Is there an area there where we can create another field? So, obviously 1, 2, 4 would be our smallest field. But even then again, maybe we can buy 1, 2, 5 and slightly extend that field. Then it just comes down to what do we plant what and where. So yeah, as I said, this whole section here is going to be one field here. Including into over here. Before we got our barley growing and I'm not going to rip that up now. We need we need grain we do for our chickens for freak's sake, so that's one, two, three, rising. Actually no, we should have gone the No, let's go this way actually. Okay, so I'm in 119. So that got access actually access to our farm over there. Far straight there to our left. And go to one two one. Also, I am thinking about terrain. Come out of here. Bit of a gradual slope. Yeah, it's got a bit of a slope to it, but then again that is fine. Cut down the hedgerows. Remove the fences here. And then, yeah. Go 
down to 122. I'm getting an error view. So yeah, 123. Rip this all up. Putting your trees cut down to get wood chips and that. Can we sell? Ooh, a lot of trees can get many millions from this. These trees will leave by the lake. And yeah, so that, okay, that's, that's field number four. With this, one, two, four. Do one, two, five. Unless we want to, oh no, I was going to say buy the farm up in the mall ship, but that's going to be working on that slope. That is what? 30 degree incline, 30, 45 degree incline. Even some bits is actually even steeper than that. It's like boom. And I don't do terraforming because that's a good way to eat into your millions. But if we can, just imagine all this being one field. No, that's that's one step too far. But yeah, we'll buy one two five. Not a second. Let's buy it all now. So. We'll buy one two five. We'll buy plot seventy two. We'll buy that plot there. And I'm wondering What about this section here? Uh yeah, we could buy one twelve. I will keep this for two reasons. One don't serve too much of the beautiful error here on Bally Spring. As I'm saying, I'm trying to make millions more in wood chips, but regardless, if we keep this here, maybe. Nah, I don't need plant more trees. No. But regardless, as I'm saying, is this will be a good divider between the field areas and that, so. By that section there. So, yeah, to recap fields. This is going to be field one. All of this is going to be field two. Yeah, field two. This is going to be field three. That's going to be field four. And that's going to be field five. And I'm thinking. Maybe one two four one two five could be the popular fields, and then the bigger fields could be like for our oils and that. Cause that's what it was going to be. It's going to be for the oils. And there, so I want to do. This is going to be bigger. That yeah, that's going to be bigger. Why not this? Be the mega fields for the potatoes. So that could be potatoes, poplar, then it's just a case of soybeans, corn, and what was it sunflower set? Corn, soybean, soybeans, and sunflower. Because we have a look at our productions corn, soybean, sunflower. And then again, we get canoe. Canula. Canula can be planted again in March, so that brings us to another problem unless we buy some fields down here, do a massive canoe field. Actually that's a pretty good section over there for canola, but yeah, we're waffling on now and a lot of it I've got to think about and all I know is the plow is going to be working overtime, along with seeding. <laughs> oh, why do I do this myself? Fake production management on No Man's Land. It's what's meant to be a small fieldish map, demolish all down and create mega fields. That's, that's just the thing I do. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to click down below. If you want to share it, please be my guest. 
If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, fair to do. Hope you're nice day. But for now, Speed Farmer, Evil Extreme. And I'll see you all uh, very soon.